Good morning. As I'm looking out the window, I can see the sun coming up and that beautiful warm golden glow through the trees and reflecting on the houses. What a beautiful sight. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, Lord. Well, we finished 1 Timothy. We're now going to read chapter 1 of the second epistle of Paul to the apostle, of Paul the Apostle, to Timothy. And this is his second letter of encouragement from the King James Bible, chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by putting on of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, <clears throat> nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles, for which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. This thou knowest, that all that they were in, in Asia be turned away from me, whom are <clears throat> Phygelus and Hermogenes. The Lord give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, um, for he oft refreshed me and was ashamed not of my chain. But when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me, the Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day. And in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus, thou knowest very well. Okay. Do you get the feeling that each one of these chapters has a great deal of power in it? A great deal of love and faith and also a recognition of the suffering that must take place here on earth. But it doesn't get him down. He's saying, I, I, it don't matter. I take it as a sign, as a badge of honor, almost. I mean, he does. He wears his suffering as a badge of honor. The persecution he wears as a badge of honor. And I'm using a, a more modern phrase to echo what he's saying here. But that's what he's saying. 
even though they've thrown me in jail, even though I'm persecuted, you, you know, that's a sign to me that I'm doing a good job because Satan's scared and he's throwing everything he's got at me. And I laugh at it because I'm, what I have inside me is greater than anything of this world. He has the Holy Spirit in him. He has Jesus Christ with him. And I'm going to read it again. Chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And then 8 says, Be not thou for ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me as prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of of God. The power of God. When you know you're working for someone who has the ultimate power, the power of God, you can do no wrong. No wrong at all. And when you're persecuted for that, that's just the rubber stamp of approval. Yeah, I'm doing a good job here. Bring it on, bring it on, Satan, because I can stand it. I'm in a win-win situation. Isn't that comforting? Isn't that comforting to know that for once in your life, you're in a win-win situation? That's because God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.